Good morning, Mary Manning. Good morning. Have you been eating chips? Yes. I see them. I see some crumbs. <laughs> <laughs> Let me ask you a question. Have you ever been at school for lunch and maybe your mom forgot to pack enough food and you were hungry? Yes. Did you ask somebody else for food? No. No, you just were hungry? Yeah, I just ate the food that I could eat. Does anybody ever ask you to share with your food with them? No. No? Okay, well today we're going to hear a story about a man who was hungry and he asked another man for food, okay? Okay. Okay, let's listen. Do you want to say hello? Hello. Hello. Good morning. We're glad to see everyone. Super glad. Super glad. How's school going? Good. Are you listening? Mm-hmm. Are you looking? Mm-hmm. Are you being kind? Yes. Good. I love all those things. All right. So we're about to play a listening game. Listening is something that you must do at school, right? Uh-huh. And really just in your life. And it's kind of a hard thing to learn about. I know with my mm -hmm. three-year-olds a lot of times I'll say, are you listening? Because you know what? They the, need to listen. They need to. Sometimes they're not. Sometimes they're looking at the sole of their shoe or the butterfly or the you know little ant outside and they're not listening but it, it is a really important skill so we're gonna play a game mm -hmm. are you ready what is it I'm gonna show you okay so I want you to close your eyes mm -hmm. I do not want you to open your eyes mm -hmm. are you ready mm -hmm. I want you to listen and I want you to tell me if you know what these sounds are do not open your eyes mm -hmm. okay water oh, who's supposed to make a loud sound it doesn't <laughs> Do you know what that is? Oh, spray. Spray. It was supposed to go, but it didn't. Oh, well. Should have practiced that. All right. Close your eyes again. Ah. Uh, a bag of chips. Oh, she got it. Now, can I have one? Yes. You can have one chip. Chippy, chippy. Okay. All right. Now, close your eyes again. Are your eyes closed? Mm-hmm. Scissors. Ooh, that was a good one. All right, one more. Hold on, I'm not making the sound yet. Keep your eyes closed. Oh my goodness. Um, a, a, a thing to light fire? You looked. No, I didn't. That, that made a sound. I had a feeling that was gonna break. I'm so sad. It's very pretty though. <laughs> all right, so with all of those things, you couldn't just see them, right? So you had to really what? Hear them. You really had to listen, right? Mm -hmm. And that is what our story is about today. You wanna read the title? Yes, please. The Parable of the Rich Man. Okay, let's look at the picture. What did we, what have we been talking about parables? Parables were what? Uh, stories to teach lessons. That's right. Who told those stories? Jesus. That's right. That's right. The parable of the rich man. So, which one do you think is the rich man? That one? Yeah. And Why would he treat him like this? I don't know, but he looks pretty sad, doesn't he? He looks kind of pitiful. Mm -hmm. Look at him. He, he's, got, he's got bumps, and he, he looks sad. He's and not wearing really good clothes. No, you're right. You're right. So and that's sad. I uh, know. All right. Jesus told this story about helping people. Is it important to help people? Yes. Mm -hmm. One day after he ate a huge lunch, a rich man said, I'm so full, I couldn't eat another bite. I'm going to take a nap. He closed his eyes and he went to sleep. Ow, ow, this sounds like a the moan. sounds of a moaning. moaning came from outside. They got louder and louder. Soon the sounds woke up the rich man. Who's making that awful sound? <gasps> Who do you think's making that awful sound? Um, you think he? The rich man looked out the window and saw a man named Lazarus lying on the ground. He had no money or food to eat and sores covered his whole body. He was sick. Whoa. Lazarus yeah, Lazarus needed help. You can kind of tell that Lazarus needed help. 
Instead of helping, the rich man shouted, Be quiet, you old beggar. He went back to his chair and he closed his eyes again. Later that day, Lazarus died right outside the rich man's house. I know. When Lazarus died, he went to heaven. So that's good, right? He went to heaven to be with God. In heaven, he had no sores. He was not sick. All of his problems were gone. And then the rich man died too. He didn't go to heaven. He was far away from God. But Probably the he went to the devil. Well, he was just, he was, he, where he was, he was not with God. I'm not sure where he was, but he was not with God. And so that would be sad, right? Mm -hmm. But the rich man could see Lazarus in heaven. Help me, the rich man begged Lazarus. But they were too far apart. It was impossible for Lazarus to do anything for him. I'm sorry, I can't reach you. I can't help you, said Lazarus. So even though that rich man had been not kind to Lazarus, was he still being kind? Yes. Yes. When he was living, the rich man thought he was too important to help Lazarus. He didn't care what happened to Lazarus. After he died, the rich man realized the mistake he made. And Jesus told the people, I want you to see people who need help. Open your eyes, use your ears, help everyone you can. Try asking this question of how, of at least these three? Th th three people today. How can you help? How can I help? I love that because it is important. Sometimes you see somebody, mm -hmm. it doesn't even have to be a big thing. Sometimes you see somebody kind of walking alone on the playground. Mm -hmm. Sometimes, you know, your teacher drops all her papers. So there are small ways you can help and there are big, big ways you can help. That's right, that's right. And we are going to do a little craft to remind us mm -hmm. about listening and how God is always listening. Sound good? Mm -hmm. All right. So, do you ever come across people that need help in your yes. life? Yes, a good bit of the time, right? Mm -hmm. And to help people, you, you have to use your brain, you have to use your heart, I, you have to use your hands. hands. So that is the beginning of our art activity, mm -hmm. right? We're going to okay. draw our hands on a sheet of paper. Okay, so we're going to trace our hand. I'm going to draw mine on the back. Okay, go for it. I think one thing that is is can be tricky sometimes is when you do know someone needs help is to listen to what it is that they really need for help right yeah. not just how you think oh i can solve this problem i know what to do but if you listen with your ears, ears like we did with our game then you really can take in and process what it is they need so i think what's important is is when you want to help with your hands to always have an open Hi. heart. When you have an open heart, then you really are thinking about that other person, not just, what can I do to look like I'm helping? It's more about, how am I really helping this person? Sometimes I know when my friends come to talk to me and they're sad, I wanna solve it and I wanna fix it and I just keep talking at them. And do you know what sometimes people need when they're what? sad and they wanna talk? What? They a just need you to listen. And they need a friend. They need a friend. And they just want you to sit and listen to them. And it doesn't seem like much, but a lot of times that's all someone needs. So think about ways that you can have an open heart and you can listen to your friends. Let me see. Very good. And truly think about how to help people. It might be small. It might be just sitting and listen. It might be helping somebody that is not smiling and making them laugh. It could be so many things. But if you have an open heart, then you definitely will have open hands and then you can help others. Y'all have a great week and have fun helping people out there. Bye, Bye guys. Bye. Mary Manning, you know one thing we do at church? What? We make blessing bags. Do you have one in your home? Yes. Oh, you do. Do you know what we do with those? Um, no. No. Okay, so when we see people 
at a red light or on the side of the road or at the store who are asking for money or food, you give them a blessing bag. Which is this. Yes, and it has water and food and soap and it has... We'll uh, show you all the things inside. Okay, let's look so at all the things inside. Here's this, some socks. Some socks. And some water. Some water. A mask. A mask, that's great. And we also have a, uh, some soap. Some soap. And a snack. Oh, what's that? A snack. A snack, okay. Is there a toothbrush in there? Yep. And a toothbrush, yeah. So you can make one of these at home to keep in your car with you to give out to people who may look hungry or need something. There's also a, yeah. a um, piece of paper in there with a with a phone number if, if someone's looking for assistance. Mm -hmm. But um, if you're at the church, you can pick them up there at all the entrances. But you mm -hmm. know, um, we do that because we want to listen to people and we want to acknowledge people and we want to help them, right? Yes. Yes. So this week, maybe you can make your own blessing bag or pick one up from the church and have it in your car at the ready when somebody needs help. Because we're supposed to live with open hands and open hearts, right? Uh-huh. All right. Well, I'll see you all next week. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Thank you.